Hi, it's Katrina. From tarantulas with legs like baboon fingers to others the size of a puppy, here are the 10 biggest spiders on Earth. Number 10. The Giant Huntsman Spider The giant huntsman spider is the biggest spider in the world based on leg span. They are quick and enormous. There are over 1,000 of these species found around pretty much everywhere in the world that is warm and tropical, from Australia to South America. Huntsman spiders are quite the common occurrence in Australia from what I hear, with their legs peeking out from behind wall clocks and sun visors in your car. Is that true? Have you ever seen a huntsman spider? Let me know in the comments below. Barnyard Betty's Rescue in Australia rescued a ginormous spider that they named Charlotte, for obvious reasons. While she hasn't officially been measured, Science Alert says she might just be one of the largest huntsmen ever found in Australia. She was released on the farm, so they haven't seen her again to take any more photos or videos. And while anyone in Australia can attest to how enormous and truly horrifying a huntsman spider is, the Australian arachnids have absolutely nothing on the biggest giant huntsman spider ever found. The spider was recorded by a team of German scientists in 2001 inside of a cave in Laos, which is a small landlocked country north of Thailand. The giant huntsman spider has a leg span of over one foot, and while I like spiders from a distance, this one is too intimidating for me. It really tests my affection for them. The only good news about this discovery is that the giant huntsman spider is not considered to be venomous, though it is truly terrifying to behold. These behemoth spiders are also only found in certain areas of Laos, and unless you're spelunking in some Laotian caves, you're very unlikely to meet one. With their huge leg span, this means that if you place the spider on a dinner plate, its legs would stand along the edges. To put its outrageous size more into perspective, some of the biggest huntsman spiders living in Australia are only about 6 inches in leg span, meaning the giant spiders that terrorize the folks down under are only half the size of the giant huntsman spider from Laos. Why did this guy get so large? Scientists think that since prey is so scarce in the cave, it has gotten bigger to overcompensate. But even these giant spiders in their remote cave aren't safe from the pet trade, and with the spotlight on their huge size, they are becoming more and more threatened. Number 9. Cerberus aravaiensis Is there anything worse than taking a leisurely stroll through the deserts of Israel only to be confronted by one of the world's largest and meanest spiders? No, I didn't think so. The last thing I want when strolling anywhere is for a massive 5.5 inch spider to jump out of the sand and start biting me in the face. I'm just kidding, spiders don't do that. Actually, what the black and white spider does is dig underground dens with trap doors, which it then springs out of to catch prey like insects, lizards, and other desert critters that are often much larger and heavier than the spider is. These are not mosquito munching spiders, nor are they fond of biting human faces. This dramatic arachnid dwells in the sand in the Arava region on the Israel-Jordan border. You will not find this in your backyard in Minnesota, so don't stress. The spider is nocturnal, and so even if you are in its territory, it will only sneak up on your leg and bite you in a rather unpleasant spot if you happen to be slinking through the sand dunes at midnight during the hottest times of the year. It is the largest of its kind in the Middle East, but it was only recently discovered in 2010 by a team of biologists from the University of Haifa Oranim. The dunes are already shrinking due to mining in the area, and scientists are very concerned that if they do not preserve its habitat, then there might be more species that go extinct before we even discover them. And now for number 8. But first, any spider lovers out there? Have you ever been bitten by a spider? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell if you haven't already. Number 8. The Brazilian Wandering Spider Let me introduce you to a good friend of mine, the Brazilian Wandering Spider. This furry Brazilian arachnid looks very much at home in the jungles of the Amazon, but definitely not on my bedroom wall. While it is indeed one of the biggest spiders in the world, the Brazilian wandering spider is also considered by the Guinness Book of World Records to be the most venomous on the entire planet. This is a spider you do not want to tango with, or bossa nova I should say. The Brazilian spider looms large at 6 inches and is reported to bite hundreds of people each year, although envenomations are usually mild. Just because a spider bites you doesn't mean it is releasing all of its venom. Out of all reported bites, just 2.3% are treated with antivenom. However, that doesn't mean that a bite wouldn't hurt. 
Even though there is a powerful anti-venom which can prevent imminent death in the case of a bite, the side effects of being bitten by one of these big guys are still pretty painful. Symptoms include burning, sweating, fluctuations in blood pressure, sudden nausea, unwarranted hypothermia, vertigo, and violent convulsions. Within 30 minutes, your body will go into shock, so if you are ever bitten, you should seek medical attention immediately. They get their name Wandering Spider because they do not build webs but actively wander the forest floor at night, looking for prey which they will ambush. They have a reputation for being aggressive, not only because they are large but when they feel threatened, they will rear up exposing red hair on their fangs. This is a warning that you should go away. Another name for them is the Banana Spider. Why? because they like to hang out near bananas. It's kind of a problem since sometimes they even travel across the world in shipments of bananas. According to the BBC, in 2017 a mother in England bit into a banana at home only to realize that it was full of tiny little spider babies. After a brief panic and a phone call to the police, special pest controllers were called, and when they discovered the spiders, they said that they believed them to be Brazilian wandering spider babies. I wonder how many of them scuttled off into the English countryside. Don't worry, it's probably too cold for them, right? Number 7. The Camel Spider Camel spiders are nightmarish creatures that are hairy and look ferocious. Their scary appearance has inspired many urban legends and terrified humans for centuries. They were rumored to be half the size of a large man and ate camel stomachs and sleeping soldiers during the Gulf War. The spider is an arachnid but not technically a spider, more like a mix between a scorpion and a spider with a pair of massive fangs that it uses to bite unsuspecting victims and lounge around in the desert making really horrible noises. Be warned, camel spiders are known to hide in people's shadows to escape the brutal heat of the desert. They are part of a group of arachnids that flee from the sun, so if you provide shade, they will come and sit right next to you. If you start running, they will chase your shadow to try to stay cool. Terrifying for you, but less so if you know that they are just trying to stay cool and not trying to eat you. At 6 inches in size, the camel spider is about the size of a teacup. But regardless how big it is, the spider lives in the deserts of Iraq, so unless you are there, you are unlikely to see one. They can run at a top speed of 10 miles per hour, according to National Geographic. How fast can you run? Because I doubt that you can outrun a marauding camel spider as it streaks across the desert sands. But don't worry, they are not venomous to humans. These spiders don't even like eating people, contrary to the scary myths of camel spiders eating the sleeping soldiers. They would much rather snack on some rodents, lizards, or small birds. In fact, this arachnid has massively strong jaws that are sometimes one-third of its body length, and they will turn their victim into a pulp by chopping them up. Number 6. The Hercules Baboon Spider Do you know what's 8 inches long and thick like a baboon's fingers? Exactly, it's the Hercules baboon spider, native to the East African nation of Nigeria. The color and shape of the spider is strikingly similar to a baboon's hands, and baboons often eat them, making them aggressive towards primates, including humans. Guinness World Records contacted bug expert George Beccoloni from the Natural History Museum to see if the Hercules baboon spider could be the heaviest spider in the world. The only known preserved specimen of a Hercules baboon spider is currently residing at the Natural History Museum in the city of London. Hercules baboon spiders have not been seen in the wild since 1900. You can go check it out for yourself. By the way, it looks like the record goes to a different spider which I'll tell you about. There are unlikely to be any more specimens since Nigeria is considered politically unstable for scientists to go there. Until then, feel free to make friends with the king baboon spider still living in East Africa today. These monsters look just like the Hercules but only grow to be 7.9 inches long, a single 0.1 inches smaller than the all-time champ. You may be extra surprised to find out the king baboon spiders are not only extremely venomous, but often kept as pets by spider lovers all over the world. Number 5. Face-sized tarantula Can you guess how big the face-sized tarantula is? That's right, it's about the size of your face. And yes, the first thing that comes to mind is a vicious face hugger from the Alien movies, except even worse, because it's a spider. With a leg span of 8 inches across, this spider can easily cover your face and bite your nose. I just hope that never happens to anyone. Wired.com reported that the spider was first found in northern Sri Lanka in 2013 by scientists who discovered them living in the trees outside of an old hospital. Unsurprisingly, the face-sized tarantula is very closely related to the goliath bird-eater. 
The scientific name for the tarantula is Postelotheria rajae, and it was named after a local Sri Lankan police inspector who helped the scientific team during their journeys in the north of the country. The spider has oddly beautiful markings all over its body and is painted a gray-brown color that almost makes it look cuddly, but not quite. Although it's scary, I would like to have a spider named after me. What about you? Number 4. The Colombian Giant Tarantula This is one mean-looking tarantula. You can find the Colombian Giant Tarantula, or Giant red leg Spider, wandering through the southern tropical rainforests of Colombia as well as the Amazon of Brazil. While there are hundreds of species of spiders found in the Amazon, the Colombian giant tarantula is one of the biggest. It is also one of the most popular tarantulas in the exotic pet underworld. They are famous for their beautiful markings and aggressive, defensive behaviors. Like other tarantulas, they will flick urticating hairs and bite, but they will also stretch out their legs and bob up and down to scare away a predator. If that doesn't work, they will spin in a circle while whipping their legs around, trying to hit them with sharp spikes on their back legs. Its bite can seriously sting, and its spiky legs can seriously hurt if they brush against your skin. Always be careful when handling a tarantula. If you do get one, make sure it is from a reputable domestic breeder and that it hasn't been grabbed from the wild. Number 3. Gramostola anthracina This is probably the most terrifying spider with the absolute most boring name. First described by renowned researcher Carl Ludwig Koch in 1842, the Gramostola anthracina is a massive spider often found in South America, especially in Uruguay. The spider has a huge brown body that can grow over 10 inches in leg span. It has brown hairy legs, a brown hairy face, and is generally pretty big. It is reputed to be one of the longest living tarantulas in the world, with some in captivity living up to 30 years. That's way older than most pets. These types of large tarantulas have few predators, but they will fall victim to parasitic wasps, who will lay their eggs inside the tarantula, who will then eat it from the inside out. What's strange is how little documentation there is of this South American giant spider. As one of the top five biggest spiders in the world, there are not any specialized documentaries yet focusing on this spider. At least that I know of. If you have any, let me know. Number two. The Brazilian Salmon Pink Bird Eater If you are a fan of birds, sorry to tell you that you won't like this spider, since we have now moved into the realm of the bird eaters. The third largest spider on the planet is the Brazilian Salmon Pink Bird Eater Tarantula. They get big fast. While it does seem a little strange for one of the most menacing insects on Earth to be salmon pink, it's true. One look at this oddly pink arachnid and you know exactly what you're looking at. It has a pink bottom and bluish black legs, and they are famous for having some of the worst urticating hairs which can cause horrific rashes. This spider can weigh over 100 grams and measure 11 inches. That's a hefty bug to hold in your hand. Thousands of people breed these enormous spiders in captivity and they're actually pretty docile. The St. Louis Zoo claims that they don't even eat birds, or at least not frequently, and most of their diet consists of lizards, frogs, and mice. They don't even spin webs to catch dinner. They simply sit around and wait for a frog or a mouse to walk near, then grab it and feast. The only thing they use their silk for is preserving their half-eaten victim for tomorrow's lunch. Number 1. The Goliath Bird Eater Coming in at first place is the King of Spiders. This is the one-foot-long Goliath Bird Eater, weighing up to 6 ounces and living an average lifespan of 20 years. Of course, only if you are a female. Male goliath bird eaters only live roughly five years, which is still longer than other male tarantulas who only make it about a year. As the biggest arachnid on the planet, it should be no surprise that this goliath is named bird eater. But do they actually eat birds? Piotr Neskreki, an entomologist and photographer at Harvard University's Museum of Comparative Zoology, came across one of these puppy-sized spiders when he was hiking in Guyana. The tarantula was rubbing its hind legs trying to scare him off with its urticating hairs. But while these spiders can of course eat small birds, they usually do not eat them because they are hard to catch. They are similar to other spiders in that they mostly eat frogs and rodents that scurry across the ground and get caught in their spidery clutches. These beasts of the critter kingdom live primarily in the Amazon jungle. Australia is safe from this one. They have fangs that are an inch long like miniature hypodermic needles that pump their helpless prey full of debilitating neurotoxins. So if you happen to be in the Amazon and see one, take a picture, but don't get bit. Whenever the goliath bird eater catches an animal to eat, it carries it back to its underground lair. They then liquefy the insides of the animal and suck it dry. Essentially, they melt their prey's internal organs and then suck them out like a slurpee. Delicious. 
Which of these giant spiders did you find the most terrifying or the most captivating? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time for another shocking video. Bye!